could you just go through them and and the best the best foreign players at City? Uh, you, you mentioned it a while ago, but um, I think you, you started talking about their achievements. Um, so the so the clearest two that that just spring to mind are um, two players called Sam Muris and Rose Lavelle. Um, Rose Lavelle scored the winning goal in the last World Cup to win That's USA massive. the World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, when she came to Manchester, um, she's sponsored by New Balance. And New Balance did this big kind of advertising kind of push or campaign whereby her face was actually all over Manchester City Centre on billboards. Really? Um, and and the, the slogan, much to her kind of embarrassment, because we bring it up all the time, was, yeah. it was Manchester's Rose. That, it was like a spin on, on <laughs> <Yeah>. words. Um, <laughs> And, and and I guess in a way it kind of shows that like we forget because we're around her every day. And to be fair, there are quite a few girls that are quite big deals. She's actually a big deal. Yeah. Where's like she from? Actually, sorry. What, what country? She she's from America. She's yeah. from America. So she's actually from um her state is like her hometown, like Cincinnati. But she yeah she's she's part yeah. of the U.S. national she's team. Born, born and bred there. Because I know you said she won the World Cup for USA, but you've always yeah yeah. There. Because obviously, she, yeah, born somewhere else, but yeah, born and bred in America. Yeah, yeah, and so, so then to 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 join her, the other girl is is Sam Lewis, and Sam's actually over six foot tall. This okay. girl is is stacked, you yeah. know. Yeah. And what's so surprising about her is that I've not seen a, a player in the women's game that that of her size. Um, yeah. that can take a, the ball on the back foot and, and break lines. So she's really, like, usually when you see it, someone that's, like, bigger than most of the other players, they're not very good, you know, with their mobility. They're not, they're yeah. not that agile, but, but Sam kind of books that trend. So they're probably the best. They're, they're kind of the players that Sam stand out. Sam is, like, a, like a number eight. And, and yeah. Rose, Rose is, like, a number ten. Okay. That'd be even quite tall for, for in the men's game. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what? Sam is probably one of them players that could actually. Yeah. Be, that could actually play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, what mentioned on that topic? You're talking about you need a, like the women's game um, could progress through a like a mainstream um, player, if you were like that would break through them lines and. Whatever. Um, what I think is it Rapino? She plays for America. Yeah, Megan Rapino. Yeah. You know, yeah. She seems to have. Um, I think obviously it's through her political stance as well, but she seems to have like kind of broke through to a lot of mainstream media. I think. Um, yeah, I mean the US, the US well, national team are like big. That's a that football in America. Is, is massive in the like for women's like yeah. their their women's team would almost be a bigger deal than their men's team. It's really yeah. unusual in that respect. That's yeah, that is yeah. And you, so so um, what was what was the girl's name you said before? Sorry, the Ameri the other American player, Rose Lavelle. Rose Lavelle, yeah. Is she is she um, is back home in America? Is she well known? Yeah, she, she would be. On the World Cup, yeah. There's a there's another player as well, Alex Morgan, who has just joined for Tottenham Hotspurs. You may have heard of her name. I, have, I don't yeah, know. I think I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, she yeah. she'd be another like big kind of big name player. Yeah. Um. So when you, what what's the time frame on getting back into into training now? Have you been out for what is it nearly a year? Did you say? Yeah. Well, it's it's nearly fourteen months that I've been out now. God. Um. Good. Hopefully we're looking at kind of more weeks rather than months. So I'm definitely on the right end of it. Um, I'm, I'm back doing bits with the team and it's kind of the last little push really. And so in the new year, hopefully it really is just like the cherry, the cherry on top of just really making sure that I'm comfortable back in with the team before obviously I'm available on the match day. Yeah. Well, the way that you started off, you say with the chip on your shoulder, um, playing against all the boys at school, that mentality I think will will probably come through again coming back from injury. Um, you, it's not like you got a chip on your shoulder, but that 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 kind of situation tests people. And if, if you've come through what you have already earlier on, there in your life, then I think you might 
you'll probably come back strong. Thank you. That's nice to say. Yeah. What's the uh, what's the aims for the next year or so with City and with England? So, I suppose the aim is to get back into the team. You know, yeah. I'd love to play centre back. Um, that that's that would be my baby. So yeah. my aim really is to be really competitive in that position. Um, and it's a tall order because we're talking about you know some of the most accomplished defenders in in the league and and actually the world are in are in you know City's back line. In competition um, with um, Steph Alton. Say that again. Sorry. Would you be in competition with Steph at centre back? Or would you? Uh, well, so we tend to play a four at the back. So you got two. Obviously, you got two centre backs. Um, so she she's obviously she plays on the right side. Yeah. Um, she's been a consistent fixture in in that in that position for years and years and years. Their left side centre back, not so much. That that's tended to chop and change. Um, and and you know people come in and out of form. But to be fair to Steph, over the years. You know, she has made that position her own. And so that that will be by her own doing or her own choice if there ever becomes a time where that's that's not the case. And so I think, you know, in a football team, you're in competition with everyone. Um, and that's just part and parcel of it. Um, but there's 11 spots on a pitch. And so one person's success never equates to someone else not being in the team. Ultimately, yeah. the best 11 players get on the pitch. Yeah. Um, and it, it's not so much me versus this person. It's kind of, am I good enough to, to get into the back line? Yes or no? Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you embrace that challenge? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, so just to kind of uh, wrap up a little bit, going forward, um, so you're 20, 25, you're 25 years old. 25, yeah. So obviously in, in the immediate future, you want to get back into the City team represent England, um, get a few caps under your belt and progress with your career. Obviously, so far you've done extremely well in your, in your career going from 15, representing England up until now. Them 10 years have been hugely successful. Um, after football, have you, had, have you had any thought of, of what you'd like to, to go into? Because you seem like you, you quite enjoy the tactical side of the game for the way you speak. Uh, would, it, would, would coaching be on your mind or... Would you stay in football or is there anything outside of football that you'd get into? I think the idea of being involved in a team in like a coaching capacity is is something that I would find really exciting. And it actually surprises me that a lot of players don't feel that way. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people who know that coaching or anything like that isn't for them. And from the day they retire, they would like to kind of take a step back. Um, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to feel by the time I, I get to that point. Um, but it's definitely something that I find like quite exciting for me. Like, who who wouldn't want to coach and you know be yeah. able to throw about ideas and be involved in football? I just think there's such a buzz, you know. Yeah, that's your love of football coming through again. You know what I mean? Like you want yeah. your with the football, and you still you're still at this age now, and you're still thinking that way because there's some players that I think it was. Um, do you remember Abue for Arsenal, the left back, Abue? Mm, no. He was for Arsenal maybe a few years ago, but remember him saying that he just sees football as a job, um, and he doesn't outside of football. He doesn't watch football. He doesn't like, and that that was just so strange. Like for someone that loves football, uh, seeing seeing a professional say that kind of thing, he was just. Strange. I think I think like it. There are like there's only a few people that are like that. I think. What happens to a lot of us is that you love it when it's your hobby and when you're doing it with your mates. And then yeah. over time, when things get more professional and every 15 minutes of your day has been scheduled in, for a lot of people, like that's really draining. And Not the reason that they connect to football in the first place is actually to switch off and relax. And so when it comes under the title of it being your job, for a lot of people, it can be a bit of a turn off and it, it can be a bit much. Um, and so I suppose like the golden ticket is to find a way to be able to do it as your job, but then also still enjoy it and for it not to like drain the life out of you because it, it, it can be quite intense. Yeah. Have you ever felt, have you ever got to that point where you've kind of got bored of it at all? I, I mean, now at this point, you probably, you, you must be itching to get back playing. Um, 
But when you've consistently played over 10 years, has there ever been a point in your career where you've kind of been like, I'm, I'm not enjoying it or anything? Or No. I, do you know, when, when, I moved from, when I moved from Villa to Birmingham, yeah. um, I'd just broken into the first team and I just wasn't really playing. And, yeah. and so I remember, the, I remember having the opportunity to go to Blues and I just remember thinking, oh, well, I might as well just sit on the bench there than sit on the bench here because Blues were in a higher league at that point. Um, and I suppose, yeah, that was kind of the like, oh, you know, we'll just see how it goes. Kind yeah. of, I'm not, whatever. But apart from maybe that, like I've, ne- I've never really, I've, I've always felt really engaged with it. I wouldn't say I watch loads and loads of football outside of football. Um, like I do have the, obviously I have the Premier League on. But I, I wouldn't. I'm not able to watch it as much like a fan down the pub or anything. Yeah. Um, although, like, I, I I can't wait. I cannot wait for the day when I can start to do that loads because I think that there's it's such a gift, isn't it, to just be able to just spend the whole day chatting rubbish in the pub. Yeah. Um, eating whatever, like yeah. going to the game, maybe going and watching a gig in the evening. I don't know. You know, yeah. like we yeah. just. Yeah. When it's your job, you can't connect to it in that way. And so it, it removes some of that entertainment that I would otherwise love. Um, but other than that, I, I do really like it, to be honest. And I could chat about it all day. I really could. Yeah. And even as a fan, um, like obviously with COVID, that's been took away from, take, taken away from us, the experience of, of going to having a day out, going to the football, um, doing what you want after, like just that whole and I think that it's really for a lot of people kind of hit home how enjoyable it was and how, and I think coming back mm. after COVID it'll be really like I think people will be really grateful like you, you've seen fans trickling to stadiums in the last few weeks um and you can just see that they love it more like they just they kind of and the mm. moment I'll go back to Villa Park again it will be it will really just be an amazing moment to have a, a, um, a stadium full of fans um and also, it's the same for the. It's the same. It's the exact same for the players, and it kind of makes you rethink about what is it about football that you actually love, and actually, is it the football? Well, yeah, everyone likes watching the football, but we all know that watching it on television, even though it's the exact same thing, it's not the same. Same yeah. as playing in a stadium, it's the exact same football, but it's just not the same. And when you mentioned, obviously, we won the FA Cup a few weeks ago. You know, walking out into Wembley and being able to hear what what players are saying on the pitch, it's dead. You know, it's yeah. actually dead. It it is not yeah. the same at all. Like the players need the fans as as much as the fans like want to obviously be there around the players. And I think it can't, it's kind of hit home to me that at like the base level, football is an entertainment industry. Yeah. You can't you can't take away the audience and still have the same product. Like there's a buzz. And what was most fascinating for me was, I think it was, I don't know if it was the West Ham men's game that, that they had fans the other day. And even though through lockdown, they've like automated the, the audience sounds on, yeah, yeah. like I could tell immediately that there were fans in the stadium, like just the way that the buzz really? was, even though like, even though Sky and BT and whoever have done a great job of like filling in the sound, with like claps and yeah. boos and been whatever. A, a few times, though. Yeah, a little been bit. Like, but been you just know. There's been like a different sound for it. It's been quite funny sometimes, but they have done it. Yeah. Quite the best, but. There's just something in it, like that's just human nature, isn't it? That you just like people want to be around people, and I think that's what COVID's taken away. Yeah, and it's pretty. It's just pretty mad the whole situation, like. It's just such. Um, you you do just take it for granted. Just just go into look, go into a gig, go into a football game. Um, but hopefully, like going into the new year now, we'll, we'll be able to slowly get back. Um, and when's your season? Like, does it is it the same as the uh, as the men's games? It, does it, obviously there's less teams in the league, so does, is there a different time frame on when the season ends or? So it starts roughly the same and, and finishes the same. We just get a proper Christmas. Oh, okay. Um, obviously, the men's like play on Boxing Day and stuff. We yeah. we get a few weeks off over Christmas, and the games are obviously a little bit more spaced out. Unlike, let's say, the Championship. Um, 
And so, yeah, it's just a little bit more spread out, but same time frame, it's still a winter league. And are you, are you heading back to, to Birmingham for Christmas? Are you coming back to your family or are you staying in Manchester? So I'm, I'm hoping to um, fly to Ireland. Oh, really? Um, with, with, with my family, yeah, we have a place over there. And so that, that would be great. And I believe at the moment there's not an isolation period when you come back from Ireland, although that could change. Um, we get tested at, at club on, on yeah. the weekly. And so that makes things a little bit clearer and a bit easier to make sure that, you know, everyone's staying safe and you're not putting other people at risk through your own movements and whatever. Obviously, we're in tier, tier three in Manchester and obviously Birmingham's in tier three. Yeah. Um, but I think we're all just looking forward to Christmas and th the idea that we're going to be able to spend a few days with our family. Definitely, yeah. Um... Me and my dad were going to go to Club Brack not long ago, um, probably about a month ago. He was on about going for, a, for a, you know, it's Bridge's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were going to go and stay for a few Is days. that Shona Flanagan's? She'd be my one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah, Shona's my cousin. So uh, Would that be her aunt, Bridge, or, yeah. or a nan? Great aunt. Great aunt. aunt. A great aunt. Great aunt, great aunt. Yeah, yeah. so, um, yeah, but there's still the place in Club Brack. It's beautiful. Like, have you ever been to Club Brack? No, I've never been. We, you know, we always used to take the mick out of Shona because she could never, you, it doesn't actually come up on the maps. Oh, so really? we used to say, we used to say, oh, you're making it up. You know, you don't actually have family in Ireland, whatever. We were so nasty when you think about it, <laughs> kids. Um, but yeah, I have heard her say it. I've, I've not actually been myself. It's a weird spelling as well. It is the kind of thing you'd be like, that. now. that's not a real place. <laughs> but it's nice then. It's really like, um, really remote. Um, it's just she's got this beautiful like white house just in the middle of and there's a, a massive lake behind it like it's really nice um where are you thinking of going in in ireland with your family so we usually stay in galway okay yeah we've got, yeah we've got a place um about 25 minutes out of the city center so in the countryside really yeah is it nice yeah lovely i think it's more just relaxing it's quite remote you know every house in ireland has a little fire doesn't it yeah has a little fireplace. yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think that's my, my most, like what I'm looking forward to the most, just being sat by the fire watching rubbish TV. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So that would be good. You'll have a nice relaxing Christmas in Ireland and then come back and New Year 2021, get into the city team, get your caps for England, and come back strong. Gosh, I hope, it, I hope it goes like that. I'll be, I'll be definitely thanking you if, if you've been able to predict that. Yeah, <laughs> well, hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up, really. Um, I think... I think you, your career so far has been not like, amazing to go from thank you um to go from like just playing football at school to getting to the point where you're playing for Manchester City um and knocking on the door of the England team um you're really at a, like a high, a high level in your profession which is amazing um I think you've got like a really strong mentality as well so that probably shows that you're going to come through this injury and come back better than ever I reckon so uh and thank you. Well, thank you for coming on and speaking to me. I really appreciate it, Eva. No, no, no problem at all. I've I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. And I'll talk to you. Uh, I'll talk to you soon as well. Um, I'll be in touch. Yeah. I'll also, when I can, I would like to come back, come down to a game when when you're back playing. Yeah. 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 Let me know. Yeah. I'll have to make sure I'm kind of in the team. You know. Yeah. That. Probably, yeah. That. That would be the best thing. So yeah. Probably <laughs> next year we'll, I'll come. Or down. maybe. Maybe um, City versus Villa. Oh, That'd be yeah. a nice one to go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But how are Villa in the same league as them? In yeah, Villa in the same league yeah. now. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll be down at Villa Park playing. Well, the the odd time they'll play at the men's stadium. They don't no normally, but this year they actually did. We played at Villa Park. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to do that. To be fair, or come up to Manchester. Either way, yeah, I'd love to come and come and watch you play live. Uh, that that. Be... Yeah, let just let me know. Yeah, yeah, sound. All right, well, yeah, once again, thank you. It's been a pleasure speaking to you, Aoife. Um, Have a good Christmas and uh, say hello to the family for me. And, uh, Thanks. Yeah, enjoy Ireland. Good luck with your recovery and uh, good luck with next year going forward. Thanks so much. Cheers, thank Aoife. you. Thank you. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.